These damn superhero movies just keep getting better and better. Here we go. Deadpool stars Ryan Reynolds and is written by Rhett Reese, I think that's how you pronounce his name, and Paul Wernick, and is directed by Tim Miller. And before I saw this movie, it was getting kind of overhyped for me. Like, uh, people were just hyping this to be one of the best superhero movies of all time. People were hyping it to be, like, this incredible thing. And the hype did not kill it for me. This is one of the best superhero movies I have ever seen. I have nothing but good things to say about this film with very little cons. And so let's just get into them. Really, the main thing that I loved about this film is that... It is so self-aware and so self-referential. That's really the whole vibe of this whole film. It made reference to so many things, like films in Ryan Reynolds' career. Like there's a joke about the Green Lantern, and uh, there are a few about X-Men Origins Wolverine. So if you love self-referential humor, you will love this movie. And one of my favorite parts of the whole movie, the opening credits... <laughs> One of the best opening credit sequences I've ever seen. It's so unique, so different, and just so, like, you know, original. I've never seen anything like that before. And there are so many fourth wall breaks in this movie. And also, there are many references to, like, just random movies, like the Taken franchise, like I said, Green Lantern and X-Men Origins, uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, The Godfather, The Matrix. Like, just so many different movies they reference in this film. And the script to this movie is just so well written, so clever, so witty, so original. I love the script. One of the best scripts of the past, like, few years, I think. The two writers of this movie, Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, I think I completely butchered the shit out of their name. They have wrote uh, the Disney film Dinosaur, which um, I heard was pretty mediocre. And they wrote G.I. Joe Retaliation. How do you go from G.I. Joe Retaliation to this? And also, they wrote Zombie Lane, which I fucking love that movie. It's uh, one of my favorite comedies of recent years. And I really hope that they get to write more movies in the next few years. They probably will, because this movie was fucking great. And this film is directed by a man named Tim Miller, and this is his very first feature film. And when you watch this movie, you really won't think that this is the first movie this dude has ever directed. Also, the structure of this movie was pretty cool. You see, it, it opens with him as Deadpool, and then it shows flashback, and he just keeps jumping back and forth, back and forth. And, which leads to, like, a couple of my only cons in the whole movie. Really, I can't really think of any. I, I kind of struggled to find a couple cons, but um, in that first, like, 45 minutes or so... Um, to where it kind of jumped back and forth. It was kind of tonally inconsistent, just a little bit, to where, like, when he was Deadpool, like, it was just so hilarious and so funny, and just, and then it kind of cut to, uh, the past, and, you know, it was still funny, but, um, also, there are a couple in instances to where, like, it, it, uh, you're supposed to be taking it seriously, and you couldn't really do that because of all the jokes. So it was kind of a little hard to take it seriously at a, at a few parts. There's really nothing bad I could say about this movie. Let's go back to the directing. The directing of this film was so good. All of the action scenes in this movie were so well done. There's no shaky cam, but there is some CGI, which it wasn't, it was actually really good CGI. It wasn't terrible. And they didn't really have that much money to make this movie compared to other comic book Marvel films. This, this film only had a budget of $58 million, which in the big blockbuster film side of uh, cinema, that's really not that much money. But they really used their budget really well. And, like, they actually made fun of, in the movie, the fact that they didn't have that much of a budget. Like I said, this movie's just so damn self-referential, and it's just great. I love movies like that. Movies like This Is The End, Cabin in the Woods, The Scream Series, uh, 21 Jump Street. I just love self-awareness. And Ryan Reynolds as Wade Wilson is incredible as this character. He owns this role. He owns this character, just like Robert Downey Jr. owned his role in, in the Iron Man films. He was uh, Hannibal in Blade Trinity. He was Wade Wilson in X-Men Origins Wolverine. And he was Hal Jordan in freaking The Green Lantern. And this film is better than all three of those films put together. 
And there were actually a lot of directors and writers that were considered to make this movie. And one of them was actually Robert Rodriguez back in like 2010. But he didn't, he didn't do this movie because he wanted to go direct Spy Kids 4. What a dumbass. Now I thought about this. This might actually be one of my favorite superhero comic book films of all time. I might actually put it in my top 10. I just I just really love this movie. I had a blast with it. I was laughing consistently. It had very little flaws, like I said. It just was a very well done film. I mean, and I recommend everybody to see it. Except, um, I wouldn't recommend little kids to see it. And I wouldn't recommend, uh, you to see it if you're 80 years old or somewhere in your 60s or 70s. Which, if you are in your 60s or 70s and watching my videos, then you're a fucking weirdo. Also, a pretty funny Stan Lee cameo. Look out for it. It's uh, one of the funnest times I've ever had in a theater. And I'm going to give Deadpool an A-. minus. Alright guys, that's going to be it for my review of Deadpool. Thanks for watching and I will see you later.